are right, YouTube, it's your boy Zooks, and today we're going over these JP patch notes, even though I don't play JP like that. Um, now, we actually do have translations, and I actually have not read it. I just seen it. It was like blurred out on Twitter. I clicked it, and I came here and hit record. So, um, Denzel, fr bro, I just seen Derpy just uh, like added me on Twitter, and there's like 60 people on this guy's banner, bro. So, in terms of value, banner might be very good for Super Awakening coins. Um, I want to see how good Denzel is. So, let me show you guys. This is the entire banner. You got Archangels, you got the like, coin shops, I think. No, these are just regular units. You got Archangels. It's like every summonable unit that's not a festival is on this banner. Like any unit you could summon for in New Year's on here. Okay, not the New Year's or like exclusives. So any unit you can summon summon for that's not an exclusive. Oh hold on, is um Okay, I'm trying to see if Deanna is I can't go through all of this. This is ridiculous, but this is the banner. Um, wait, what? 15 mileage. Okay, you get, who's oh, red? Okay, let, let me see what he does first. I need to know what he does. Okay, okay, his, yeah, he, his passive, he's, I knew his passive would be the same, bro. Oh, uh, no. His passive is the same as the one they have in game. Okay, increases Alex's recovery rate by 10% the start of every turn. Like, that is so lame. He doesn't even have a passive. Okay, like you just ignore that. He doesn't have a passive, bro. He lame. Um, I'm still gonna summon for him on global, not JP. Um, cause one banner, like, no, I'm not skipping on a banner that has 60 units and 6%. That's so much super awakening coins for me. I'm not skipping that. Um, inflict damage to 400% on attack on a one enemy and life steals 40% of the damage. So I think life steal, like cards that have life, life steal, is getting a buff because it's usually thirty percent. So it's going up to forty. You no, know? okay. Dead man's revenge. Oh, I can't wait to use that card when I get this. A Susan stanch uh, for two turns when attacked inflicts corrosion damage equal to thirty percent of the max HP on the attacker for two turns. Basically, what this means is. If, let's say I, I use this level 3 card, right? I don't know how it is on level 2 and 1, but if I use this level 3 card, and let's say he's red, so the one claps him, which is a rip. But let's say um, Assault Mode Meliodas attacks him twice and doesn't kill him. Basically, if Assault Mode doesn't have a cleanse, he loses 60% of his HP in one turn. So, if he doesn't have a cleanse, if they attack me twice, for two turns, they die instantly. This That's what Dead Man's Revenge does. I, sh I have a video on it, you guys will see at the end of the video um, of me using his skills. But that's what it is. And it was 20% on the NPC, so they definitely buffed that up. The fact that it's 30% is fantastic. If I get that level 3 turn 1, which I will be using him in Green Gulter, if I get that turn 1, it's like it's like that card right there is like a passive to me. You don't even, like, his passive is trash, right? I mean, he, that card right there is like a passive to me. If they attack, it stacks too. This corrosion here is stacks, if you don't. This is not like, um, oh, corrode. Okay, this is corrosion, it, it's stacks. So it's like assault, it's not like, um, blue demon Meliodas is a stack. So if they attack me multiple times, basically if they attack me three times with one unit, even if I die, they lose 90% of max HP if they do not have their if they do not have a cleanse it's actually broken bro it's busted if i go into a match and i have goddess liz with me right revive oh no i might have to bring tarmio for damage reduction i think that's going to be the play but if i have tarmio golther and this guy right they go after my denzel and they hit me three times they get they lose 90 percent of their max hp right away so let's say you have 200k you go down to like 10k instantly it's so broken, bro. That Dead Man's Revenge card is so broken. I love it. I'm still summoning for him even if he has no passive. Then his ultimate, what does it do? Inflicts damage equal to 500% of an attack on all enemies for one turn. The hero's HP cannot drop below one. That's so broken. <laughs> That's actually so good. That's so good. For one turn, the hero's HP cannot drop below 1%. So he basically has Melascula's... Oh, him, Goddess Liz, with that ultimate is going to be nutty, bro. That's a sick passive, or ultimate, bro. He he doesn't have a passive, but his 
does Sting, his second card, and... No, he's gonna heal up all the time. His entire kit's based on him healing and not dying. Dead Man's Revenge, eh? Denzel. That's what we're here for. I'm summoning for Denzel, bro. I'm, I'm making... I, bro, Denzel is nutty. This card is like... It's nutty, bro. It's nutty. Okay. The thing is, not a free unit. Like, people thought he was a free banner, but he is not because free banners have, like, a white print. He has a purple print. So, he's like, um... They're saying... Wait, you have to do... What was it? No, you can only do 10 multis on the banner. Oh, okay. So, th this is another thing that's going to be very good about this banner. This banner... Everybody on this banner is UR80. So, again, if I sign on 6%, this banner is insane box you see for a lot of people, bro. Insane box you see for a lot of y'all. This is, he's actually pretty good. Like, yeah, he doesn't have a passive, but these cards right here, he's pretty good, bro. I'm giving it to him, bro. I, I like this unit. Ah, uh, yes, that match revenge. And he's guaranteed, so it doesn't matter if I don't pull him or anything, if I don't dupe him out. But he is guaranteed. You got Final Boss Eskinor coming back. And then you got his outfits here. We don't care for any. We don't care about none of this. We only came for Denzel. Right? I'm a global player, but a Denzel, I I love Denzel, bro. No homo, but you know Denzel is goaded. Look at all his. Okay, you got the KFC style outfit. This night one. Yo, I'm summoning when this comes to global, bro. I I just need to save 300. That's fine. Six percent. That's fine. Bro, we don't even care about the rest, bro. We here for Denzel. Hope you guys enjoyed, bro. These are the outfits whenever it loads. Um, again, Final Boss Elskinor is coming. They have some Merlin stuff, but we don't care about that. We care about Denzel. Um, actually, I can show you guys the translated banner. Uh, Derpy pinged me or added me or whatever. Uh, there. He's right, like, look at this. Zeox is have fun 6 6 6 on the banner. Like, these are all the units, bro. Um, right? You got some... Part 1s, Part 2, you got everybody on the banner that you could summon for that's not exclusive. Or that's not an original character. So, that's what it looks like to me. Um, that's what it looks like. Alright, because you got, hold on. Okay, he just took a screenshot on the phone, so I thought they're okay. Um, yeah. Guardian Gila, who is it? Oh, this is, a, um... Grimoire. I don't know why his name is trying to yell at that, but okay. Overpower Slater. Yeah, this banner is like just box you see. And Nanashi's on the banner? Oh, I would love to pull Nanashi. Like, I know people, I would love to pull Nanashi. I don't want to summon on his banner, but I would love to pull Nanashi on this banner. And it's not guaranteed, but... Wait, oh, you could... Uh, okay, I would have probably been able to 6-6 six, six him if you can keep going up, right? But it's 30 mileage, so... I think one multi is going to count as one point, or, I don't know how it's going to work, but, yeah, I'm summoning on this on global. I, one, I guarantee get Denzel, so it doesn't even matter to me, and two, if these are all UR80, that's insane box you see for someone like me. So, I just got to save up 300, and then everything else can go up to whoever else. So, uh, yeah, I'm summoning. Hope you guys enjoyed, bro. I'm out. Peace.